Hello, my name is Bahman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick points from a plot on MATLAB and calculate basic uh, properties from those points. So let's again start our new scripts here. Let's just define A equals to linear space between the 0 and 2 pi. And B equals to just sine of A. And then just uh, let's go with figure one and plot A and B. So if I just run this, I will just simply uh, save this code as a pick point, for example, just name. And this is our uh, plot here, which is a sign between zero and two pi. So if I push this button, this duck button here, it will just become a part of my window here, my uh, whole MATLAB window, it will be easier to track it. So now if I want to pick some points on this and find out about their uh, uh, coordinates, what I will do, I will use G input uh, command. So I will say X and Y in uh, matrix form equals to G input. Let's say I want to uh, pick two points. So here you will say how many points you want to pick here. G input uh, stands for graphical input. So graphically you'll pick some points. So if I run this now, so th this will uh, wait until I ha I pick two points with this uh, crosshair here. So I will pick this to these two points. And here, as you can see, it shows the points, but it doesn't show the points on, on the figure. To make sure that we see the points on the figure, what I will do is I'll just write plot. Uh, simply X and Y and I just want to show, show them as markers with a star so this uh, will create that but the problem is that the previous plot will be clean let's see so, uh, now if I just pick these two points again so just those two points are shown and the previous uh, plot is just cleared out so let's just like uh, add a hold on here so that will hold this first plot and then like uh, plot the second one on top of that so again, if I plot this, this is what happens. And see, but now the previous plots, uh, the previous points are still here because it holds everything there. So to make sure everything is okay here, let's just like add a CLF, which is for clear figure here. Now it will start with, it will open this figure, it will clear the figure, now make it in a hold on uh, situation. And the mode will be hold on. And now pl we'll plot both of them together. So let's run this again. Now we have this plot get these two points and now those po two points are shown here and those two points are shown on the command window here because I didn't use semicolon here. So now let's say I want to uh, calculate the slope between these two points. So I have the X uh, coordinates of these two points and Y coordinates of these two points. So what I will do is just simply say slope. As you know, a slope is delta Y uh, over delta X. So it will be parentheses Y to the second y, sorry, uh, minus y1 over, again, pan, I guess like I missing one parenthesis here, okay, x2 minus x1. Make sure that you use these parentheses correct because the whole thing here needs to be divided by the whole thing here. All right, now if I run this, uh, so again, it says pick point, I will just pick these two points We'll show them and now the slope is calculated as a negative slope. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.